This is Ryan Trahan, the man who perfected the modern day vlog on YouTube, combining entertaining challenges with raw personal content. Ryan's biggest gain in popularity came from his penny series, where he starts with one penny and works up to some crazy unimaginable goal, such as trading it up to a house, starting with a penny and traveling across America in 30 days, or making it back to America from Europe in just one week. His fun yet awkward personality has gotten him over 2 billion views and 13 million subscribers. What if I told you that Ryan's awkwardness is actually one of his biggest strengths and that it proves there's a mindset you could have to never have a bad day ever again. This is the Ryan Trahan effect. Hey you guys want soda for $2? I have diet! Awkwardness. A trait that is always viewed in a negative sense. That was awkward. A phrase that we've all heard whether we're just a part of an awkward situation or even worse, when we cause an awkward situation. I'm so awkward. Ryan Trahan is awkward. If you've seen any of his videos, you definitely know this laugh. <laughs> Honk. Selling water one euro. <laughs> Ryan's iconic laugh highlights the awkwardness throughout his videos. While a high production creator like Mr. Beast might cut out awkward moments, Ryan leaves them in because they're relatable. Everyone is awkward to some degree, so when a huge influencer shows these moments, it brings a sense of connection between them and the viewer. A sense of, I am just like the influencer after all. The most magical part of this is how Ryan displays awkward moments. Hey guys, I'm I'm selling this water bottle for two dollars. <laughs> hydration. Okay, sorry. No worries. It's as if awkwardness is the worst possible result of interaction. The possible outcomes are success or it's awkward and just happily move on. That isn't so bad. So the fact that Ryan Trahan is so relatable allows the viewer to realize that breaching out of your comfort zone isn't so bad. He is doing all these extroverted things while seeming quite unconfident. But is he really not confident? How could someone who is awkward also heavily rely on human interaction. The fact is that it doesn't matter how confident Ryan Trahan is. He just does it. Whether confident or not, he goes out and interacts with these random people because he knows that the worst that could happen is an awkward interaction. But when it does go well, when the other people join this interaction, those are the best moments of the videos. They bring pure happiness because Ryan's energy is immediately spread to the other people. And that is the second part of the Ryan Trahan effect. Pure happiness. The truth of the Ryan Trahan effect is pure happiness with the goal of spreading it to those around you. Ryan's videos are so uplifting because he approaches every aspect of a challenge with optimism and energy. The things he does in his videos are difficult, so best believe Ryan hits a low point every time. But just as the worst possible outcome in an interaction is awkwardness, Ryan approaches low points in a way that makes them seem not so bad, and that is through optimism. A major roadblock is never paired with the phrase, I give up, but instead with, here's the new plan. Setbacks don't actually set him back on his path, but instead just shift him sideways onto a new route to achieving his goals. Just as the worst possible outcome in an interaction is awkwardness, the worst possible outcome of taking risks is having to shift the game plan. It makes it seem like everything works out for Ryan, but really it's his mindset that doesn't let obstacles weigh him down completely. Tonight is gonna get down to negative two degrees, and at this point I feel like I have no choice to try to start this fire again. We got this. We didn't got this. I don't know if this stuff is flammable. Ryan takes the viewer through every part of an obstacle, running into it, readjusting, and getting over it. Man, I'm so bummed out about this fire. But at the end of the day, I just gotta keep on keeping on. I literally can't wait for the sun to rise. The transparency throughout is another aspect of Ryan's videos that makes him so relatable. And when a viewer sees Ryan approach an obstacle in such an optimistic way, it allows the viewer to reanalyze their own challenges with this new optimistic mindset. And if you're now viewing your low points with optimism, imagine what it's like when you're at a high point or even just a midpoint in your journey. We see in Ryan's videos that he is always smiling, making jokes, dancing, and overall just being 
fun. There are three different groups of people that his positive energy spreads to. The first is the viewer, which we've already discussed in length. The second is those he interacts with, which we only covered the awkward part of so far. And the third is Ryan himself. An optimistic mindset and outgoing character is a truly healthy way to live. And that is the source of the Ryan Trahan effect. One of my favorite moments of every Penny series is when Ryan draws caricatures of city goers in order to raise money to accomplish his goals. What makes the caricature drawing so enjoyable is how happy and fun it is. Ryan draws people with a sharpie in only one minute, and the final drawing always gets a big reaction. Mutual laughs about Ryan's artistic ability, or lack thereof, make for such a great experience. And even though Ryan charged nothing, drawing caricatures became the most profitable money-making method because people donated due to the wonderful experience and engagement they just had. At some points, Ryan made up to $100 an hour. That's more than the president makes. All because of Ryan's fun, purely happy character. If you haven't gotten it by now, the Ryan Trahan effect is his ability to make others happy simply by being an outgoing, positive person. He might be awkward, he might be amidst an intense challenge, but his charisma overpowers all of that. And that's the point of it all. You don't need to be super confident or super successful in order to create the Ryan Trahan effect yourself. If you just look at everything knowing that the worst thing that could happen is awkwardness or that you are directed to a new path, nothing's quite so bad after all. Eventually, you'll start seeing success in a new way. You'll You'll start seeing small wins come up by just being a good person, and uplifting those around you will in turn make you even happier and even more satisfied with yourself. I actually tried out some of the activities from the Penny series to prove that the Ryan Trahan effect is real. So comment down below if you want to see part two, and make sure you're subscribed.